What is going on everyone, this is Wicked and tonight I have the honor and the pleasure to show you the latest um, Dirty Unicorns ROM version 10.0 from uh, XDA, I'll put a link in the description with the XDA thread if you have uh, any questions regarding this ROM, any bugs that you want to report uh, any logs that you want to upload in order for the actually maintainer to see because this is an, an unofficial version of this ROM and that means that uh, it isn't really developed by the official developers of Dirty Unicorns but it's uh, maintained by uh, some sort of guy who will update it to the latest base so it is unofficial and uh, a few informations about this ROM um, is that it is running Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow as always uh, and it's based on um, CM since it has themes application it would be based on AOSPs if it was uh, uh, running layers as uh, an option to customize the device but it's running themes and we'll browse through that uh, feature later and as you may see it's running a dirty unicorn kernel and the, the dirty unicorn version is dirty 10.0 so the first impression that will this ROM will give you is that it is super slim and it is super customizable as you may see the lock screen looks like this and you can customize the font you customize the colors of the date the clock and so on so without further ado I will uh, get into the a review of this ROM and of course as always I will be doing a performance test with a true benchmark, a gaming test, a features test and customizability test which uh, you will see that it is really um, staying at, at an advanced uh, level. So without further ado let's get into the review and I will start with the performance part but not before I will uh, not before I will about to show you the percentage of the battery life just to just for you guys to make uh, an idea on how fast the battery drains out I will also show it at the end of the video so 10.39 the beginning of this video 97% brightness level and everything is set as default um, okay so let's get into the performance part I will show you a, a little quick um, uh, feature of this ROM which is just a gesture spot you just have to slide from here and you select A for Anto to benchmark in order to open it and as you may see I got uh, sorry 32 uh, 5, 6, 7 points so um, it is really a good a good um, score I got but um, I have to say that regarding the gaming performance this uh, I don't feel like this is the best ROM that you want in, in terms of gaming performance and I will show you right now why. I downloaded this little game called Alto's Adventure and I will show you what I'm talking about. It's kind of sluggish, uh, at least it was like this when I, um, let me focus properly, it was like this when I, uh, <coughs> you know, open it for the first time. Let's see if it is again, I will deny the permissions to access my media. Of course. As you may see at the beginning it's uh, really working pretty well but once you start the tutorial because I haven't started that yet actually I started but so let's play so as you may see it's kind of sluggish when it moves around it's uh, these little actually basic textures so it's kind of laggy as you may see the frame drops a lot and I don't know if it is, I think it's ROM related because I have tested this ROM also on uh, a stock KitKat 4.4.2 uh, ROM officially was supported by Samsung, official firmware and it wasn't lagging like this. So it may be a ROM related uh, uh, bug regarding the GPU maybe, maybe it is throttling. Uh, one thing that you may want to take into consideration af uh, after flashing this ROM is that uh, is how you access the recent tab panel you just don't do it by long pressing the home button but by double pressing it this is as you may see there is some lag uh, from time to time during uh, the review of this ROM as you may see 
but uh, this is how the recent app uh, panel looks like and as you can see it has some uh, icons regarding the multi-window which I'm going to be getting uh, to uh, eventually later okay so performance test was, was done I told you about the score I got the gaming test not so good so right now let's get to the customizability part um, I'll get into the themes application and how do you get it you just scroll down and as you may see here it says themes it's a really nice um, shortcut so go into more th settings and I downloaded second uh, page black theme so since it is a CM uh, based ROM it has theme support and uh, you are able to customize the entire user interface by you know installing different themes from Google Play Store and this is by far my favorite uh, it comes officially with um, Resurrection Remix if I'm not mistaken but it feels and behaves really cool as you may see red accents everywhere and uh, with the lock screen it looks like this really beautiful also um, so the customizability part is working pretty awesome and has pretty decent features of course as uh, any CM ROM does um, so we talked about the customization part let's get into the features part because this is the um, these are the things that you want to take into consideration uh, by default the ROM comes with a few apps as you may see a couple of apps I have installed a couple of them the end to benchmark the auto uh, the and that's it I think yeah and the asphalt nitro uh, I wanted to test it the uh, really graphic intense game and the result was the same as on alto so yeah that's such a big difference hell of a lot of lag okay so let's get into the features because uh, you will be surprised that this kind of a slim rom has uh, tons and tons of features and i will start with the miscellaneous tweaks bias control task manager so enable uh, action for task manager in the notification area this is where it will show up this uh, little button here flashlight notification uh, and uh, one important feature that you may want to take in into consideration because it may be set to to enforcing to for you is that you can open up and or use camera if it's set on enforcing as you may see it won't open up and it says camera error but you know if you set it sorry if you set it to um, permissive actually yeah if you set it to permissive then you won't have any problems and uh, the camera will be working perfectly as you may see so uh, let's get back into settings it's really hard to what the heck okay let's get back into settings LCD density is self-explanatory you will be able to have more things on the same uh, screen size of course by reducing the DPI mid screen shortcuts so you're able to add as many shortcuts as you want for example I will add the calculator shortcut on the lock screen and it will eventually show up here as you may see and double pressing it will get into the calculator so that's self-explanatory what it does of course the also the bottom left uh, right shortcuts I added it uh, the left uh, the left one and set it to settings in order to quickly access the settings of course you can customize the wallpaper of the lock screen the lock screen notifications the weather widget and of course uh, this is how I customized my lock screen as you may see you can customize you can set up what whatever color you want I set up the blue and the, the red ones and they just look perfectly um, okay let's get into the status bar and let's take a look a little bit at the status bar as we see something is breathing here so it's a fading in and out and that is a feature called breathing SMS or breathing phone call uh, uh, it, it, it really depends on what uh, you missed or phone call or an SMS 
So I think it's uh, related to the status bar items, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I'm mistaken. I think notification. Yes, as you may see, it has breeding uh, missed call and breeding voicemail or breeding SMS. And that's how it looks like. Of course, you have battery icons, um, carrier label, which, which I said it's wicked, as you saw earlier on the lock screen. Um, you have the Unicorns logo, time contextual header, which is this one. So regarding, uh, uh, depending on what uh, time you're, you know, browsing to your device running this ROM, you you may get some kind of wallpaper or right here. Okay. So let me just clear out all these notifications. I don't find a clear all button, so I'll just... Oh, here it is. There it is. And of course, the quick settings, self-explanatory. You can customize them. You can activate quick pull-down and so on. Um, Vibrator touch and uh, the default feature that come with uh, any other custom ROM based on setting and mode. Navigation bar buttons. Navigation bar here. And buttons what is really um, you know what was supposed to be on this uh, panel is the ability to change what um, action will a button take when you press it for example um, so you could uh, easily modify the double tap to access the written tab panel um, so I want to mention something, it says on the official XDA trail that this is based on ASP and uh, GPE ROM and that's why they said it, the double tap press it and it is set by default double tap to recent tap uh, panel. I knew that the CM13 come, came with the uh, themes and the ASP and GPE ROM eventually will come with layers instead of themes, so the layers applications and that uh, really, I don't know, makes me feel uncomfortable because I don't know if this ROM is based on CM13 or ASP as it says on the XDA thread. The multitasking is really again advanced. Here you can activate, you can activate multi-window which will eventually open up a, a calculator and the camera above or below them. So again on the switch. Uh, gesture anywhere as I told you this is how you get it into calculator. For example, I said it. You can uh, enable. You can add or remove what you want from here. Regarding the gestures, on the switch is another way of uh, you know multitasking between the apps. But uh, frankly, I don't really like it. Heads up display again, self-explanatory. App Circle Bar. No, you all know what it does. Again, if you're browsing animations, as you may see, it says Power Menu Animation ASP Default. So, this is another, you know, information that will, um, that will tell me that this ROM is actually based on ASP, and I might be uh, mistaken regarding the base of this ROM. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not right again. Um, screen record and other things that you may want to customize into the Power Menu. And you have the most important thing that will be present in any ROM, the ad blocker. Now, just talking bullshit, don't listen to me. Ads are life. Okay, so that was the you know the feature spot. And um, yep. Yeah, to sum up, I added the the calendar widget here just to show you how smooth the screen transition animation is. I think this ROM is running uh, Google. No, I don't think so. It may be running Google Launcher, or I'm mistaken. It may be running a um, custom launcher that was made by the DU, but yeah, we don't know. Oh, we have a DU certified certified application which will allow you to tell which will tell you actually the themes that are officially certified by uh, Dirt Unicorns, which is really cool. It would be really cool if you got it for free after you install this ROM because they are paid. That would be a really nice uh, you know, touch to this ROM. But otherwise, 
you know it. If you want the quality, you just have to pay for it. Um, one thing that I find it really interesting is that, is that this ROM comes with Chromium browser, and I didn't actually heard about it. I think it's only the name modified, and it's based on the base of the stock Chrome. It may be, it may not be. Please make sure you give me your feedback in down below in the comments on, about what you think, of course, about this ROM and the other features uh, or bugs and I will help you ASAP so this was the Dirty Unicorns uh, version 10.0 again this ROM is unofficially supported by the DU team so take in mind that uh, it may have some bugs that uh, you that uh, can't be fixed uh, that fast um, let me show you the battery percentage, 93%, which is a really cool, uh, I, th I remember that I started, we started at 95, 97% and 4%, it's really a good uh, value, 92% right now, really good value for what we've done, what we browsed uh, to uh, um, all of these features, and uh, we actually open up a game, open up a game, and you know, yeah, so this was the review of uh, Dirty Unicorns ROM. Uh, from a scale from 1 to 10, I will give it a strong uh, mm, from 7 to 8 because it's not the fastest, it's not the smoothest, it does have some uh, bugs. You just saw one of them, the network disconnects, but I think this is really this is ROM related, this is base related even if it's uh, ASP or CM13 base so uh, I would rate it actually a strong uh, 7 out of 10 so thank you for watching guys um, please make sure you thumbs up my video if you like it and subscribe the heck uh, to my channel by doing so you'll keep me motivating doing kinds of this kind of reviews so thank you for watching Wicked is out bye bye take care